it's a very peculiar thing. Your memories, there are certain things that you never forget. Major General John Ron was a second lieutenant on June 6, 1944, D-Day. We'll see you on the beach. If you've seen Savings uh, Private Ryan, uh, you have a, a hint what it was like. Had you seen battle before? Nope. Just 22 years old at the time, Ron was in the second assault wave to land on the beaches of Normandy. But as he tells it, very little went according to plan. Everything I recite is the result of things going wrong. Because we have an old rule, it holds for every battle that has ever been fought. At the first shot, all plans must be shredded and forgotten. And from the first shots of the D-Day invasion, the plans were changing. Like where Ron's 5th Ranger Battalion was even supposed to land. Landing control said you can't go in there. The last unit that went in there took 98% casualties, of which 50% were dead. We turned around and went 800 yards farther and landed, and God blessed us. Everybody that was landing was landing two, three miles away from where they were supposed to. So were we, so was I, two to three miles away. But where we landed, there happened to be breakwaters on the beach. Combine the breakwaters on the beach with brush fires up above in the cliffs that forced the Germans to abandon position. Smoke and breakwaters and the Germans essentially could not see us, so we got home free. And that's, uh, that won the war, by the way. That won the war. We were the only battalion-sized unit in the entire invasion to land intact, which is the name of my book, by the way. <laughs> intact and able to lead the way. We landed here, went straight up up the cliffs and farther inland. That was where the fighting began for us. We were about a mile in when we really hit very heavy resistance. The Major General's accounts of D-Day are succinct, to the point. It's the way he always recites stories to war historians looking for perspective and accuracy. His memories even helping shape the opening moments of the aforementioned movie, Saving Private Ryan. Fire! We knew what we had to do, we did it, and that was it. Nearly 78 years later, surrounded by maps of his landing, photographs from his army days, and his many medals of honor, and the general still knows exactly what he fought for on that fateful day. I was fighting for my country, period. That was the only thing. This interview was taken earlier this year, just a few months before the general's 100th birthday. And after telling his story dozens upon dozens of times, General Ron said this would be his last. I have noticed in the last month that uh, I have to search for words. And when you're, when you're talking like this, it's very difficult to search for words and search for thoughts at the same time and put the two together so they make sense. I mean, sir, you're 99 years old and you're sounding fantastic. No, I'm 100 years old in two months. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's come on, come on right. now. <laughs> Round up, round up. <laughs> round up, particularly when that's the only way to go. The general turned 100 years old officially on April 22nd, 2022. <laughs>